Okay. Okay, so um, I will have several more things I want to touch on regarding some of the things I already touched on. And um, so I'm going to continue with providing evidence to my story today. Uh, okay, so remember when I was saying that they were CIA tactics at that base? Um, or they were embar they would purposely try to embarrass me and um, like they would say one thing to me but say something else to the other people. So I found an, uh, I found a text message from one of the sergeants that um, he was told to tell me something and then it turned out to be wrong. And so I had um, reached out to him and said, you know, we're, this was not not recently but a few years back and I'm not going to share his name and I don't want to get him in trouble but um, he, I, hit, I said, where did you, who told you that information to tell to me? Okay, and so he, and I'll show you this, I'll show you this message here. He, I said, who exactly told you to tell me that? And he said it t came down the COC. I don't remember who told me. It might have been PCG or PL. These, these are Army terms. Um, you know, it, these are people he's talking about. But um, anyway, this was from... Uh, one of the staff sergeants, you can read it here. And I said, well, who told you? You know, and he said it came down from the top, basically, to tell me, you know, like they would say, you know, you need to go over, report over here. And then what they were trying to do is they were trying to build a paper trail on me to try to make me look bad and um, try to um, make me, a. they were trying to make me look like I was AWOL so they could, uh, kick me out legally, I guess, you know, instead they ended up just pushing me out on the medical, but they tried all kinds of other games, um, and then, so I heard from another, um, soldier there that, uh, sent in to me, and I'm not going to share his name, because I don't want to get him in trouble, uh, but I want to read one part of the email that he sent me, um, and, okay, so, Let me find it here. Okay, so uh, also, Debbie, a couple years ago, a guard mail member from the firefighters division was found dead at the new 20 room dorm barracks building. But don't know, I don't know the name or if he had known anything from the past from this uh, base. I could try to find out more for you. Our new commander with FMO is now Colonel Zoe. She's a redhead woman. She was friends with General Salazar, though, so that, that's not good. The previous commander was Colonel Stubbs, who I did not see much at all. Something went down on Stubbs, who was accused of sexual harassment and transferred up to the headquarters for a while. He was found not guilty, which was openly discussed at a town hall meeting, apparently, but it was very unprofessional. Um, the same meeting, I exposed the state DEMA, problems we've had here and um, human resources are not providing or training new employees, um, harassment, ethics issues, um, a few recently transferred or quit. Also you forgot to mention that the yeah I did I didn't mention this in the Sarah Westall interview that um, they did find um, there, there was a there was a company a medical company called Biological Resource Company, okay that um, was involved in the selling of body parts. Okay, this is how it all this is what I'm saying it all went into uh, human trafficking, and uh, this was just really creepy stuff. Okay, so there was a company you can look at Phoenix Biological Resource Company that was found guilty of storing body parts in the um, freezer at the Arizona National Guard. They found um, body parts in the building of the FMO building. They were in three giant freezers. Okay, so this guy knows, he knows what's up and he knows wh where that happened and he was there. And uh, I guess the guy from the Phoenix Biological Center, you know, was found guilty or something, but I don't know what happened. But um, I mean, doesn't anybody think it's weird besides us that you're storing uh, body parts on the freezer of a National Guard base. To me, that that was clearly 
another sign that it was all involving some kind of really, really creepy, satanic, um, human trafficking um, stuff. You know, because obviously, to me, obviously, the general must have known that was happening. So that means he was in on it. Okay, so you can look that story up, too. I can, I'll, I'll put a link on that story, in fact, um, after this. But um, the other thing I was going to say as far as Field McConnell is, you know, I don't know what's going on with him, but I knew, I do know what it says in the Bible concerning, you know, if you're trying to play both sides, you know, if you're trying to be, you know, um, you know, if you're kind of trying to, you know, you know, do the right thing, but you're not exactly like <laughs> doing the right thing completely. You're trying to work, you know, the good old boy system at the same time. You know, I can tell you what God says about that um, in the scripture. And so one second here. Yeah, right here. So Revelations 3.16. It says, uh, so because you are lukewarm, neither hot or, nor cold, I, I'm, I will spit you out of my mouth. Okay? So I don't know what, you know, I don't know what he's doing, but I know that you can't, you have to be one way or another. You have to decide, you know, we can't have this, this anymore, this division, like, where, oh, you know, you know, I had some people who were like, oh, just play along or play the game. I even had, when this was all going down years ago, I even had people you know, kind of make fun of me and giggle at me. And they're like, you know, didn't you know that, that, you know, the whistleblower protection act that does, that doesn't really exist. That doesn't really exist. Silly, you know, like as if I was supposed to know that. Okay. So, uh, you know, <laughs> because, you know, because things haven't been upheld, laws haven't been upheld in the military and other places for such a long time that, um, people have lost faith in the system and, um, so, you know, maybe they get bribed or they get whatever happens, but uh, you have to stand, we have to hold our ground, otherwise we're going to lose our country. You know, we have to hold our ground with our with our uh, morals and our beliefs, otherwise we're going to lose our country because these Satanists and these pedophiles um, have gained power. They See, they gain power. It all, it's all about the blood. They gain power over a region. Um, if there's a, if there's enough bloodshed, it, it's like a mockery of the blood of Christ. Okay, um, they gain access, they gain, uh, they gain uh, rights, like legal rights to the land, blood rights. They gain blood rights um, when they are, there's a certain amount of bloodshed over a region. Um, it's it's a bibl it's a satanic thing. So if there's a lot of bloodshed over certain regions then um, they have a stronghold over that region. Okay, so that's why it's so important. We have to stop this this, this, this satanic ritual and human trafficking. Okay, and um, so let's see. The other thing I was going to mention is... I was going to mention... Okay, oh, yes. Um, I was going to say that um, if you notice in the presidential debates, um, the you know, they're recently... Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders, they're... They were recently just trying to, you know, um, it be, you know, be, um, be like, uh, it's not, you know, John McCain, you know, he's a great guy. They're trying to defend him, you know, probably because I, I, I'm outing him big time. And, you know, all these people that were involved in, um, in all of this pedophilia and human trafficking were all involved with John McCain. So, you know, to me, it's just very obvious anybody that's, trying to defend John McCain is obviously a pedophile as well. Okay. Um, the, he was the highest of the highest of this human trafficking and the pedophilia. He's the one who protected the other pedophiles. Um, I have, I have all kinds of proof and evidence of this. I'll share more, but, um, anyway, so, and then the, the lady that was, um, that, that just tried to dismiss my case, the judge, um, that tried to dismiss my case, and, um, and it was actually in Phoenix, and it was, okay, it was actually at the court, the highest court in Phoenix, and um, her name was Diana Hematiwa, and that's um, spelled H-U-M-E-T-E-W-A, 
And um, she was at, she was big time friends with John McCain. You know, she was at his funeral. You can look it up. Judge, Judge Jayanne Himatiba. Okay, so he obviously was involved in uh, bribing her to try to dismiss my case. So I have two pending lawsuits. Um, you know, one of them was from the reprisal or retaliation. And those were certain statutes. And then one of them was a key time false claims case where I was supposed to get a whistleblower reward for what I helped uncover. I helped uncover a $2.7 million uh, scandal. But they keep trying to say that they don't know where this money went, you know, and that kind of thing. Um, so, by but by law, I was supposed to, I should be due a, like a 15% reward for that. It's key time. Okay, so anyway, I want to do this this quick um, update on that, and um, there's way more to come. So, okay.